Arrival Village Action Group is a unique place. Okay, be, and also it is quite interesting and challenging that we, it's a mixed culture people. Actually, I did my graduation in chemistry. Uh, then I did my master's in social work. I was interested because uh, it's after I completed my graduation in chemistry and then I had a chance to work in a volunteer organization. Not to work to be a volunteer in an organization. And then, so I got inspired in this field. Uh, so after that, I didn't want to do my master's in chemistry, rather I wanted to do my master's in social work, so I did it. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Two things. It's true that, okay, jail, people like Jalex me used to say that, okay, they got inspired uh, of this organization because of a woman director. And they also used to say that it is it's not only just the women director, gender sensitive women director is needed. Uh, because I have even seen women directors who who operate and think like normal men. Okay, so uh, it is gender sensitivity, whether it is a man or a woman, this gender sensitivity is really needed. That is the key to the issue. <laughs> Definitely, definitely, and uh, it's okay. I think as a woman, also okay. It's, it's apart from being a director, as a woman, and also we also personally speaking, I also had to go through a lot of challenges in my personal life and also as well in the professional life. Uh, because in our culture, we have our own limitations, strengths, and limitations. We have expectations of women. I I can't uh, I can't call myself as a feminist and all, but I used to call myself as a humanist. Okay, who believe in human equality. So when I speak about human equality, that means okay, automatically gender equality as well. Okay, it looked I sounded like a, a Greek and Latin to other people. But when a woman from this culture speak about speaks about gender equality. And then they said, ah, okay, that means, okay, she's, uh, she's, uh, the husband is a henpecked husband. I used to ask my husband as well, okay, how do you take it? When people say that, okay, you are a henpecked husband, how do you take it? Because it must be hard, it must be hard for him as well, no? So I had these challenges as well, but uh, it's interesting that he used to say, Morris used to say all this, that, you choose and go. Uh, if you want to be like that, and then you should be ready to face criticisms as well. Where, where do I stand? Whether I am a normal Indian woman or I have to be a model to others. And if I have to be a model to others, I have to be ready to take up the criticisms as well. Okay, because, but at the same time, okay, even if I think, to be or to act as a normal human, normal Indian woman, I didn't feel satisfied. In the initial period, it was it was a bit tough for me, personally speaking. But uh, when I come to the office, I never wanted to compromise. In the beginning, because I had my own ideas, uh, because even as a student and then I had belief in gender equality and caste equality and human equality in gender. Uh, so maybe in the beginning I didn't understand the field reality a lot. So I had some difficulties in the beginning. But after that okay, I know, I know how to express it to the people and also they know what I express really. I feel that in village action group we didn't want to impose anything on the people and also luckily we never, we were never target oriented. Uh, even when we write projects and all we would say that okay we would form this many groups, we would do this many activities but we won't say that in this village we are going to do that. I think our idea to federate the women's clubs, women's clubs and men's clubs that worked well. Uh, because 
Federation has representatives of the men's clubs and women's clubs. So they are more or less the mouthpiece of the members of the women's clubs. So we were able to have proper dialogue with the Federation members. And uh, we listen to them and they listen to us. And they know that we are a bit genuine in our approach. If it doesn't work, if it doesn't work in the field, and then we won't impose it on the people, we would accept it immediately. Okay, we try to be very careful about it. Even in the village, in village action group, we took the conscious decision to work both uh, with men and women. We didn't want to distinguish between this group and that group and that. And we really had a belief, it's my personal conviction as well. And also in the organization as well, we have the conviction that we have to work with all. The members have become more tolerant in terms of caste differences. And in the beginning, they had difficulty even to sit, to sit next to each other. And uh, we had a unique program with in Village Action Group which is an exchange program between different caste groups and all. In the beginning, even I was a bit worried and I was a bit afraid whether it would work in this area or not. We, as I told, we went very slowly and gently. And, uh, and gradually people picked it up. You won't, actually, I don't know to what extent you are aware of these caste issues in our culture and all. It's one of the greatest social issues. In From the beginning, in Village Action Group, we were convinced that economic development alone is not enough for integrated development. So we had faith in social development, economic development, psychological development. A few years back, we noticed that at least 8 to 10 women from our women's clubs alone committed suicide. And uh, it ranged from 6 to 10 women. Okay, it ranged from uh, 6 to 10 women for a period of 2 to 3 years. It was really a very sad thing. What we did is that in our resolution, we added one more thing, saying that I recognize the support given by the Federation. So whatever happens in my life, I will not take steps to end my life. When the staff go to the people, go to the villages and then sometimes okay they hear women saying that ah you have come you see i met you three weeks back two weeks back actually i would have died i i really wanted to end my life i even took the rope okay to end my life then after that okay the resolution came to my mind see cha, each way each month twice at least twice i read this resolution Okay, I get a chance to re listen to this resolution. I myself say it, and then uh, the faces of the people in the office came to me. Uh, so I thought, okay, why should I do it? And I say, and also I read this resolution. I say this resolution, and then so I should not do such things. So then I changed my mind. Even when people come here, come to village action group, they say that they feel happy to come to village action group. Some women, they, I really find, in the beginning, I really found it a bit difficult to f believe it, but now, okay, I'm convinced that it is true. Uh, people used to say that, okay, when they're sad and all in their uh, family situation and we call them for a meeting or a training program, they come here happily. And then they say that, okay, we come here and then we listen to you, we listen to different people, we see, we get to see the many people and all, okay, so this is one way of forgetting the problems. And also when we listen to the problems of others or when we listen to others, how they deal with the situation, and then, okay, so we also learn from them. And it's, okay, it's really good. <laughs>